What's up people, what's up people, what's up people? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications please so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up cause y'all know the deal, y'all know it. I am not too proud to ask, let's get into it. Okay, for those of you that are not following the broadband bully site, I urge you to do so immediately. A lot of great content. A lot of great news stories and a lot of writers that are on that site, including myself. As soon as the latest news stories hit the airwaves, we're on it uh, to facilitate it to you guys, bringing you the sources and all that good stuff, first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? A big article um, around the time of this recording was an article about Xbox Series X and whatever other con consoles come within that family not having next gen exclusives, okay? I'm going to read you a little bit from the website, but again, I urge you guys to go to the website to, to get, all full, get all of the full details. All right, so it says, top story, Xbox Series X launch, not, to set, uh, not set to include any next-gen exclusives specific to its ecosystem. Okay, so Matt Booty in a discussion with publication MCV developed talked about the content coming from microsoft studios at launch it appears that the content will not include next gen exclusive content not playable on any other family of consoles and matt specifically says as our content comes out over the next year two years all of our games sort of like pc will play up and down that family of devices okay so here's the thing with that y'all um that brings a real big question of parody, okay? Um, because a lot of people I see out here in the gaming streets are asking, look, if you got an account for the 1.3 teraflop console, which is the original Xbox Fat, all the way up to this 12.7 teraflop console, which is gonna be the Xbox Series X, is that going to hinder what you implement in a game not necessarily graphics because you know graphics can scale up and scale down but you know how much ai is going to interact in, on on screen and how um you know how many enemy <coughs> excuse me how many enemies will be on screen at the same time you know what i mean um because as we all know the xbox one family of consoles have a cpu in it that jaguar cpu um, or the Jaguar hybrid or whatever it is with, within the Xbox One X. That's a big bottleneck for game development, right? So we, we all should know that. And if you don't, now you do. Um, that being said, how is that going to impact the development side of games, right? Like even with PC, I hear PC being thrown out a lot. Well, they do this in PC with PCs, but even in PC gaming, there's a cutoff. And there's a cutoff nowhere near as wide <laughs> as what xbox is proposing again let's take call of duty for example call of duty modern warfare that came out 2019. minimum specs is a gpu that's at two teraflops that's in 2019. xbox is proposing going into 2021 2022 still having to make first party games to include a 1.3 teraflop machine okay. so you know that just gives you the breadth of concern that people may have now again i'm not an expert of the bibble watts and the gigahertz like a lot of people out here i don't claim to be you know what i'm saying but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to to be concerned about what's going to be the output at hand and again just look at some tangible comparisons again like what happens at pc now I got a lot of my Xbox brethren out here, MM2K, you don't know no tech, that's why I got the, the, the moniker as my, my gamer tag, or my uh, Twitter tag. You don't know no tech, you don't know how this is gonna work. And every single time my Xbox brethren tell me that some type of Xbox implementation is going to blow things out of the water, it, it, it ends up not being the, 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 the same. You know what I'm saying? That DirectX Cloud and all this, the power of 12 Titans, UWP, and then the Xbox One X is gonna blow everything out of the water, and here we had God of War on a $200 machine that looked better. And again, I'm not trying to hate, I'm not trying to slight, I'm just telling you facts to where 
I can't just easily go off a word and say, okay, it's a given. It's a concern and, a con and, and, and the concerns need to be answered. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. These could be concerns that are nothing. And again, like I said, I'm not the Bibawad expert. I, I'm, I, I'm owning up to that. But Xbox community, you are not going to be the stewards of this message in good faith. You're not. Again, just for the simple fact I just told you. You guys said that DX12 was going to give the Xbox the power of uh, 12 Titans in the cloud. You know what I'm saying? Y'all said, again, UWP was going to change the game. Xbox, I just went through it. Again, but I, sometimes I got to repeat things so they stay etched in your mind. So you guys cannot be the stewards of this message. So what I'm basically trying to tell you is... Get out of my Twitter feeds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't mind hearing fans of Xbox's opinion. You know, I don't mind that. What I don't think is helpful in the discussion are the so-called experts that say, oh, only someone with half a brain doesn't understand. But meanwhile, these people are wrong every day, all of the time. All of the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't want to hear from we don't we don't want to go off of your judgment alone, is what I'm saying. I don't want to say we don't want to hear it from you because everybody's thoughts are, are critical to this discussion. But the thing that's going to be instrumental in easing everybody's minds is having Xbox with full transparency and full clarity come out here and explain in layman's terms why parity is not going to be an issue. Come on and explain to us why. Whether it's, and again, I don't know if this is possible. Even, yeah, scaling might, you know, reasonably put some restraints on there where we wouldn't have to be concerned about it if we were developing strictly for the X. <coughs> Excuse me. But here, here's what we have to remedy that. Explain something to us. Because here's what my Xbox brethren got to understand. That all of y'all out here on Twitter, YouTube, and all that other stuff, when y'all sit here and y'all go over these bibblewats and gigahertz, y'all are preaching to the choir. You're not convincing any new people. You're not. Because if you if, if if your rhetoric worked, then the gap wouldn't be three to one. Okay? You're only preaching to the choir once again. So you cannot be the stewards of this message. And again, people heard this before, particularly when the Xbox One X came out. And they said, well, explain God of War. And you can't. Okay? So what I'm saying here is y'all need to take a back seat. The only thing that you'll be good for with your influence is to go to Xbox and say, hey, look, we like this ecosystem. We think it has a lot to offer. But we alone particularly with you having so much ground to make up, we cannot be the stewards of this message. Xbox, you got to come out here and make people believe what we believe because it's not going to work with us. And Xbox, and if Xbox come out, no, they can't go to Digital Foundry. We just had John Linneman, I, I, I probably butchered his name, come out here and slap down this whole theory of scalability again so they are not stewards of the message. Microsoft has to do what they need to do to dot their I's and cross their T's and get better at their own messaging. And they're only going to do so when you guys take a back seat, stop trying to do the groundwork for them. And you guys go to them and say, hey, look, you got to get out here and get these people to believe what we believe. Okay. I mean, that's it. Once you do that, and once they do that, then the mind share will be consistent. Xbox has so much mind share after what they did um, at the Game Awards, but it is slipping away. It's slipping away with articles like this, with publications coming out, no next-gen exclusive, stuff like that. That stuff tarnishes it away. And Xbox reminds me, I joke behind the scenes with some of my friends in these DMs, I joke behind the scenes that Xbox always gets the interception, but they run the wrong way <laughs> and end up scoring for the other team anyway. And that has to stop, clearly. That has to stop. I love my Xbox One X as far as what it could do for consoles. But, you know, the software is king, and... If people are going to pay five, six hundred dollars for your box, when they're going to be paying the same price or something less for the competitor's box, they need to know that they're really going to get jacked up power. And we need Xbox to come out and explain so. So with that being said, I urge all of y'all to go out here again, go to the broadband bully site, fully read this article, read all the links and the sources associated with it. And again, just talk to the fellow Xbox brethren. 
Some of the bigger names or entities, y'all take a back seat. Y'all go talk to Microsoft. Get them out here to better explain this message so we can bring this, this message full circle. And with that said, that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always tell you, here's what I think. But with that being said, if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard, baby. Let me know. Let, let me know by checking out the links below to follow me. You can catch me on the PNTS Network. Robin Bullies, like I said, Hard Knock Digital Culture, where I do game streams and I talk about hardcore movies such as martial arts and hardcore anime. And lastly, the Stadia Dosage. And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.